Well, I think we're out here because we haven't made the progress that we're looking for, mainly because Jeremy Hunt has taken the extraordinary decision to impose a contract which isn't, isn't agreed, isn't costed, and we're at this point where we have to, we can choose either to roll over and let the government carry on with this dismantling of the NHS one step at a time, or we can actually say, hold on, we want to do something. I love the NHS, and I um, am British, and I like the way it unifies the country, and it's something that British people are proud of. But equally, the factors of life are that you have to balance the books, and it may well come to a point where I have to look at other, either employment options in the UK or employment abroad. At the moment, that's not something I want to do, but it's certainly something that I never considered, and now I am considering. I've sent my CV off this week, so I, I think I'll probably be leaving the country. Um, and I, I think just not just myself, but if you just look at statistics from the whole country, application rates for core training have fallen, um, applications for med school have fallen. This is having a drastic effect on the medical profession, and it, it, you know, it's just very dangerous. Where are you looking to move to? Uh, personally, I've sent my CV to South Africa. The government said we've made the decision and that's the end of it, and our response is to say, actually, hold on, no, this isn't the end of it. There's more things that can be done. BMA are looking to get a judicial review of the contract to say actually we don't think this is legal or fair and we're stri striking again to show our disdain at the fact that they've done this and that actually we don't think this is over, this isn't put to bed. Well, the striking is obviously showing the junior doctor's of discontent with uh, Jeremy Hunt's decision um, but I mean it's not over yet, uh, Jeremy Hunt didn't look at the quality of the contract so we're you know, taking it through the courts to see if the contract can actually legally be imposed. I know that a few of the trusts have voiced that they're not sure if they'd actually be able to impose the contract um, and, so, and, and there's been a petition to get it rediscussed at the House of Commons. So I, I think there are multiple avenues that we're hoping to get it back to the negotiating table and make the government realise that you know, they, need, they need to start listening. We've shown how fiercely we oppose this. Um, we've shown our strength of feeling with 97% or 98% of people voting to strike if needed. Um, but then it seems as though it's another example of how detached the government are from what's actually happening in frontline NHS and actually that they feel they can bully their way through this.